Good morning, everybody. We ended off yesterday talking about how free choice is such a high goal to aim for in our lives and how it's an amazing thing to be able to live a life with free choice on a regular basis. So what exactly is this free choice that we're talking about? Basically, the definition is as follows. Free choice in America, usually we think of as I'm free to choose whatever I want to do right? I'm free to do this. I'm free to do that. I'm free to go here, go there, whatever I want. I'm free. It's a democracy. So I'm a free person. In Judaism, we don't look at it that way. True free choice is freedom from influence to choose. Now let's swallow that a little bit more. In other words, when we have influences on our life, whether it be from inside or outside, those are influences are having a powerful way of deciding what we're going to do. And a lot of times we have circumstances presented to us in our life where really things are pretty much decided for us. Or out of a hundred different possibilities that we have presented to us, we have two. So we're choosing between one and two. And for practical purposes, very often anybody could probably guess what we're going to decide because they know our nature. They might know our tendencies, where our likes are, our dislikes. So we really have to look at our choices. Are they really choices or are they more decisions? Decisions are based on taking a, a cheshvah and taking an accounting of all the different factors involved in any particular situation and then deciding one way or the other based on our emotions, our feelings, our knowledge, our past experience, our, our projections for the future, whatever it might be, whether it be in business, whether it be in our personal life. We make lots and lots of decisions. But true choices are unique. How do you get to a point where you can really be free of influence, though? That's very difficult. I mean, we're human beings. So we're constantly influenced by our environment, by our DNA, by all types of things that happen around us. So being free of influence is, is kind of uh, a dream sometimes we might think of. But no, that's not the case. That's why the Rebbe emphasizes so much the idea of iskafia, of going beyond our influences of going beyond our nature, of sometimes even denying that which we would be most comfortable with, or doing something just because it's right, even though it's not really something that we feel comfortable with or we feel that that's part of who we are. When we do a mitzvah, for instance, even though we're not comfortable with it. So that's really the true idea of the mitzvah, and that's really elevating us beyond our own limitations, our own little Mitzrayim, our own little Egypt, that we live with in the box that we all live in. And that really elevates us to be free of choice, to be free to choose something because we're connecting this way to our essence of our soul. We're connecting to who we really are as a Jew when we choose to do that mitzvah. But even in simple circumstances, let's say if I, um, again, getting back to that chiffon cake and that chocolate cake. So if I choose that Instead of the chocolate cake, if I choose the chiffon cake, why? Because it's dietetic or whatever, or I know it's going to be healthier for me. So I'm doing it even though my nature might tell me to, to take the chocolate cake, but I'm taking the other choice because I know it's the right thing to do. So I'm going beyond my limits. I'm not basing my decision, quote unquote, on the influences that are within me. I'm doing it on the basis of what's right. I'm choosing to do the right thing. And very often choosing to do the right thing is not necessarily something that is comfortable or easy. Let's say for instance, a person who's struggling with trying to get more involved in Torah mitzvahs. So they're ready to do all those things that they can understand, but those things they can't understand, you know, why should I do those? I don't understand it. So what difference does it make? Well, again, how do we go beyond ourselves? How do we touch the infinite? How do we really connect to Hashem in a way that's meaningful and that's, that's going to really elevate us to a higher level? If we're just going to stay within our box and our three-pound brain, so we're not really going to be elevated too much. We might feel good doing a mitzvah. We might feel like we're doing the right thing. We might feel more Jewish as a result. But really going beyond our limitations to bridge the finite to the infinite? Uh-uh. That's why Hashem gave us so many of those mitzvahs that we don't necessarily understand at all. Some we do understand a little bit, and some might be understandable, but being that we might be novices or newcomers, we don't really understand it yet why to do this. But we do it anyway, because we want to know that we are 
free to choose to do something that's beyond our limitations, that's beyond our little box of Egypt. So the same thing applies to the skafia. When the person bends their will and does the right thing because they know it's the right thing, this causes such a nachas ruach above, as is explained in the, the Maimur of Yitzhavat, and the Rebbe explains much more after that in follow-up years. Because here we're talking about a situation where a person's willing and able to take themselves and become somebody better than who they are. Nobody else, as I mentioned last uh, yesterday, no, nothing else, nobody else in creation is able to do that, to become something different than who they are, than what they were made to be. But we have that ability. And we only can exercise and reach that goal of being somebody better than who we can, who we are, when we're ready to, to go beyond our limits and to choose to be better than who we are. And that's real choice, is when we're ready to connect to ourselves on a deeper level in our, in our essence and be able to really connect to Hashem that way and to choose to be free of the influences that normally would influence us in any decision we make. But to say, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to make the jump. I'm ready to go beyond those influences. I'm ready to do the right thing because it's the right thing. So tomorrow we're going to go a little bit more into the real difficult free choices that we have to face, sometimes face in life, and how hard they are and why Hashem put them in our path. Take care. Have a great day.